Hi, welcome to the Power in Motion YouTube channel. I'm Nick, and today we're going to talk about the Reason Mueller Load, a full suspension cargo bike with tons of load capacity in the front and the rear, making it an ideal car replacement bike that's unlike any other cargo bike on the market. So come ride with me today, we'll find out more. Hi, I'm Nick, and I'm from Power in Motion. We're a bike shop here in Calgary that specializes in cargo, folding, and electric bikes. So we've been doing that since 2006. We're really happy to announce that Reason Mueller is now part of our lineup, and the Load 75 that I have in front of us is the bike we're gonna be talking about today. Uh, Reason Mueller is a German brand. They specialize mostly in electric bikes, but they also make a, a small niche of cargo bikes. One of them being this extremely specialty Load 75. It's one of the only full suspension cargo e-bikes on the market that has a bucket of this size. Storage on this is absolutely no problem whether you're carrying passengers or uh, cargo in the back. So why would you get a cargo bike? Why would I even consider getting a bike this massive? Well, there's a couple different reasons. We've been seeing a really big trend in sort of lifestyle of people moving from a two car family to a one car and a cargo bike family. So the car is still for, you know, those longer trips for the weekend rides out to like the mountains or, you know, recreation. So anything like over 20K realistically, but the load is for, and other cargo bikes like it, are for that shorter trip. So, you know, the five kilometer trip, the 10K trip. So, you know, groceries, taking the kids to school, to, to practice, whatever it might be. We've, we've really seen a big lifestyle change here in Calgary and other parts of North America. What makes Reason Mueller such a great brand to buy from is the assembly of the bike. So their factory in Germany custom assembles every single one of their bikes from the transmission to the frame itself. And then even some of the Bosch components are custom to your order. Now that does take a little bit of order time, but you can customize the bike to your exact needs, whether you need it to be more budget friendly or you want the cream of the crop components. Those are all options on the same frame. So why get a load? Well, a load is truly its own brand of cargo bike. It's a front loading box feet, which you can see with competing brands like the Urban Arrow or even Reason Mueller's brand new transporter bike, uh, which is very similar in terms of its capacity. The difference being is that this is a full suspension bike. So in terms of cornering, terrain, and overall handling, this bike stays glued to the ground with so much confidence. I think what makes the load so different from say something like the transporter from Reason Mueller is that this is a little bit less practical in the sense that it doesn't have quite as much storage as something like the transporter does, but this is so much more nimble than the transporter. You have all the control that you'd want, especially into corners like this, like just carry it through, no problem. This thing can get going despite it looking like a behemoth of a bike. I got this thing up to 71 kilometers an hour on a descent and guess what? It felt dead stable. I didn't have any confidence issues with speed wobbles or frame flex. This thing was just rock solid through the entire ride. So now you have a couple different options with the load when purchasing one. We have the load 60, which is a shorter version of the load 75. And now we have the load fours, which come in both variants of lengths. The difference between a regular load and a load four now is the system two, which is what's on this bike and the brand new smart system from Bosch on the load four. So the key differences between the load 60 and the load 75 is the third seat. So the load 60 is just the two seats in the front here where you get an additional seat here with the load 75. It's also a longer bucket. So you do have more cargo capacity with this bike. The 60 will be more nimble, better handling, and 
overall better control because you don't have as much bike involved. Now you have the load versus the load four, which to break down the difference between those is it's just the motor system between the two bikes. So the traditional load, which is on this guy here, is the Bosch system two, which is their older power pack system, where the new load four runs the new Bosch smart system, which it runs a higher bit rate, so it's more responsive. There's different options you can get with the displays and it's overall a larger battery stock with the load four. Let's customize your Reason Mueller load. Starting in the cockpit, why don't we start with the Bosch displays? So we have mainly two options for this, which is the Nyon, which is this great color display, which shows your, uh, it shows navigation, speed, estimated range, um, and it's all in color. So it's really easy to read, it shows you what uh, gear you're in if you have the roll off hub as well. All those things are really easy to navigate on the Nyon display with the auxiliary remote by the left-handed grips, which has you all the buttons that you need to navigate the display. The other option you have with the Razor Mueller load is the smartphone hub, which literally uses your phone as the display. So if your phone is really easy to read in daylight, then it could be a great option to make the bike a little bit more secure because your phone will always come with you whenever you're leaving the bike. Another key component in the cockpit would be the shifter. So this is dependent on the transmission you choose, whether it's the roll off 14 speed hub that we have on this model, which is belt driven 14 speeds, and it does automatic shifting when you come to a full stop on this bike. So it automatically shifts you back down if you come to a light per se. The other option would be the Enviolo. So the Vario option on the Reason Mueller website. Now the Vario is the Enviolo CVT hub. Now this is a great hub for intuitive riders. So it's a lot simpler to operate because it doesn't have any set gears. It's kind of an infinite gear. Um, so that way when you come to a stop, it's easy to shift back down. Lastly, but not least, is the touring system, which is a Dior 10-speed drivetrain, which still gives you a great range, but you don't have all the benefits of stop and go shifting like you would with the Vario or the roll-off option. Moving through the rest of the cockpit, we have the Ergon grips, which are a great ergonomic grip, which are gonna be good for uh, riding around town, but still have enough traction for some of those rougher trails you might be hitting with the load. We have the TRP, uh, hydraulic disc brake levers, which are sort of a moto style. They have this big ball on the end, which make for really good traction, especially in wetter conditions. So that way your fingers don't slide off the lever while you're riding. Moving down through the stem here, we have the adjustable headset. So this is what makes this bike a little bit more flexible for a multi-use family. So if uh, you're riding it or someone shorter is riding it, it's not a problem because this is completely adjustable. We just undo the center latch here. There's a little safety button that allows us to bring the bars all the way down. And then that just re-clamps there. Another great option is you can adjust the reach of the bike on the fly as well with this uh, quick release system they have at the bottom of the stem here. So simply undo the quick release here. There's a little spring latch at the back here. We can tilt that further back until we hear a click like that. These simply quick release just snap back down. And now this reach is significantly shorter than it was before. Let's talk about the suspension. Now we have the X-Fusion coil suspension in the rear. Now this is adjustable. So if you're carrying more load that day, it's really easy to do so. We just twist the coil to either add or reduce tension on the rear suspension. So if I have panniers, huge load on the back, we're gonna tighten that coil up. But if it's a lighter day, you know, we're gonna hit some of the trails and it's just you riding the bike, you can loosen that coil back off very easily. In the front of the bike, we have that 20 inch wheel as well as the Suntour uh, Moby fork. So this is a relatively long travel fork for something that's on a cargo bike and it gives you all the comfort that you need. So it's not so much for the rider, but it's for more so for the passengers 
in the front because every if this was a rigid fork every bump would shoot up making the front seat incredibly uncomfortable to ride in but since it has that it mellows out that ride so much better so what makes the three seat configuration so great is with the footwell you can actually fit up to like a small adult in the front of the bucket um, otherwise three kids fit in this no problem um, what makes it so unique is the two seating positions you have for the rear uh, seats is you can sit it to the standard upright seating position which you can also adjust the height so as the kids get older uh, you can adjust the height of the seat so that way it accommodates their uh, torso another key feature of these seats is they have two positions so it's really easy to pop these seats up and out of the um, the bucket like so so if you need more cargo capacity for a certain day you can simply take these out without any issues there's two slots in the base of the bucket which allow you to put this into what uh, they kind of call the nap mode or sleep mode um, which allows you to put the seats on an angle so making for a much more comfortable ride for the kids um, and making it a, like a little bit more of a dynamic uh, bike so if you need more storage you can you know tighten it up get the kids sitting upright so that way you can keep any kind of like buckets or backpacks and stuff that you need in the front um, or if it's a more casual recreation day you simply just tilt the seats back and the kids can relax so one other feature that you can get with the three seater is the weather top cover so this is going to protect the kids from the element uh, it's going to protect your cargo from the elements as well but you can also get other options like the um, box for the load, which is more cargo specific. So that way you can transport uh, goods a lot easier that way. Um, you can also get this in an only two seat configuration. Um, so if you don't want the third seat, but you still want the full cargo capacity of the load 75, that's also an option uh, with this bike. The footwell is also optional. Uh, making it uh, a little bit more of a flat based cargo bike uh, with a bit more ground clearance uh, without the footwell as well. The footwell can also work great as a little storage compartment in the bike because it's underneath the floorboards of the main box. So if you want to keep like spare tools, maybe a U-lock, um, anything of value, uh, it can be a good spot to store because it's out of sight, out of mind. When you fold the uh, baseboard back, it works as the seat for the third um, for the third seat. So that way, um, there's still a cushion that's easy to sit on with a bit more width as well. So a larger child will fit better on the uh, front seat or small adult. So as we currently have this bike configured, we have the Bosch CX motor, which is of course Bosch's most powerful uh, motor that they sell. 83 newton meters of torque with that cargo line setup. Uh, it climbs any hills super easily with little to no effort, even with a large capacity in the bike. Uh, the roll-off hub really excels in that case, but the Enviolo and the Dior, I expect to get the same kind of performance out of the hill climbing. One of the features of the load, much like other cargo bikes is you can set this up as a dual battery now this bike does come stock as a single battery and if you want to upgrade to the dual battery it's a little bit harder to do so later or it's a bit more expensive than if you're to do it out of the gate um, with the single battery you should expect anywhere from a 30 to 90 kilometer range depending on your ter terrain and riding conditions um, with the dual battery, it essentially doubles that range easily and quickly. One other option that we have on this bike is the rear carrier. Now the rear carrier doesn't come stock uh, it, and it's specifically for cargo only. So there is no fourth child that can sit on the back of the bike uh, because this has a pretty low uh, weight capacity of about 20 kilos. So you're only gonna be using it for panniers, uh, maybe a cooler at best. Uh, so you can't overload the rear rack some other small features that are on the load is the cafe lock so now this this comes stock with the bike and you can get the add-on abis chain so this chain is designed to noose around bike racks around light posts uh, what have you and then if you had that in combination with a folding lock or maybe a really heavy duty uh, u-lock like this abis granite extreme I'm pretty sure it will never go anywhere because even if you tried to steal this, it's basically immobile with that cafe lock. 
Some other bells and whistles that the load comes with are the fenders and supernova lights. Now these lights are incredibly bright. Uh, it makes you seen on the road and or uh, by other pedestrians. It, the cool thing about the front light on the load is it has a dual beam system. So it has a high beam and a low beam for battery conservation and uh, visibility at night. So with the transmission of this bike, you have a couple different options. You have the Touring, you have the Vario, and you have the Roll-Off. Now, they each come with their own pros and cons, but realistically, the Vario and the Roll-Off are the most ideal for this bike. So the Touring is an 11-speed uh, Shimano XT uh, derailleur system that comes with a chain and the Enviolo, so the Vario option is the Enviolo CVT style hub, which is very intuitive to use. It has really no set gears and allows you to be flexible whether you're coming to a stop or um, descending a hill. Finally, the roll-off, the most fancy of them all, also comes as a belt drive with a 14-speed internally geared hub. Now with that 14-speed internally geared hub, you also have automatic shifting. So when I come to a complete stop on this bike, that uh, the motor will automatically shift the bike down to a set gear. So let's say gear four is my ideal starting gear. That's what it will shift it down to when I come to a full stop. The benefits of getting the Vario or the roll-off hub is the reduced maintenance. So chain drive bikes, especially on cargo bikes, will stretch out a lot faster. It'll take a bit more uh, it'll take a, always a bit more wear and tear to the bike, uh, having it to come into the shop more frequently where the belt drive systems are going to be a lot more flexible both in weather conditions and in maintenance. Uh, the benefits of also having the internally geared hubs is you can shift them at any time. So whether uh, I'm doing light load up a hill or I'm coming to a complete stop at a red light, I can shift those gears at any time without having to pedal along with it. Coming back to the hydraulic brakes, we have the quad piston calipers in the front and rear. Now, paired with the smaller wheel in the front, this is gonna offer a lot of stopping power, especially with all the momentum this bike can carry. It's really important to have a great braking system on your cargo bike. Finally, the last option and decision you have to make on your load is what tires do I go with? So, as we have it configured, we have the Urban setup. So that's with the Schwalbe Marathons, which are a sort of balloon style tire, which offer a great balance between comfort and rolling speed. So this is gonna be ideal for those who are realistically riding this 90% on pavement and the other 10% uh, maybe on some packed gravel and off-road terrain. Now, if you wanna make this as mountain bikey as possible, you're gonna go with the GX option, which come with the Schwalbe Smart Sams. Now, this will really, make this bike excel in those off-road conditions, whether you're riding your local trails or you just wanna have a little bit more fun in the gravel, this is that's gonna be the option for yourself. But I would realistically choose the one that suits your riding conditions the best. So when shopping for cargo bikes, I think it's really important to test ride each bike. So if you want something that's really practical, really simple, you know, Front loading cargo bikes are a great option because they function a bit more like a vehicle. They have speci specified seats that kids can sit in, they can be strapped into, and uh, you can watch uh, your passengers. Where something like the GSD, although an extremely compact cargo bike, the load is still behind you. So uh, being able to see, interact with the kids in a front load cargo bike is really important when purchasing a bike like this. Now, if you want a really exciting cargo bike, that's the reason to get the load, is it's super, it's handling is outstanding, it's super, a blast to ride, and it's still incredibly comfortable with the sort of semi-recumbent seating position that it has with the seat tube post, so that way it doesn't feel like you're sitting super upright, but you're more cruising through town on the slickest ride in town. So what do we learn about the Reason Mueller load? It's a cargo bike unlike anything else on the market. It's a full suspension, powerful Bosch CX motor uh, that can also come in the System 1 or brand new smart system from Bosch. The reason Mueller, once you sit on it, you're not gonna wanna sit on another cargo bike because this thing is so nimble, so much fun, and really just a pleasure to ride. If you have any questions about the reason Mueller load or wanna know more about a reason Mueller lineup, 
feel free to contact us at powerinmotion.ca. Thanks for riding with me today and have a great one.